Hello friend, Daniel here from StockMusicLicensing.com bringing you the best tips and strategies for selling your music on royalty-free libraries. Now, I want to talk to you on this video about the most important factor for you to succeed as a stock music composer. Now, we usually confuse mixing abilities, production skills, and the music that we write as being the main factor for success. Now, this could be true, but at the same time, talent alone is not going to get you very far. Skills is not going to get you very far. If there's one thing that separates the people that succeed and those who fail, it's just one thing. And that one thing is called persistence. Being able to persist and consistently try again and again is what's gonna make you successful. Now, I wanna read you a quote from a book that I got many years ago, and I think it's, it sums it up really, really well. And this book, uh, The Art of Record Production, is a very old book. I bought this book back in 1999. Some of you were not even born then. And it's a very important book um, in my collection of book of music, books and, and production and recording uh, kind of books. It, it could be a little bit outdated for some of you, but it's talking about the record producer and, <laughs> and what is the job of a record producer back in the day when there were studios. I mean, there's still studios, but... Uh, it, there was this is pre home recording uh, studios as we know it okay so this is an old book I highly recommend go and check it out it's one of my favorites but I want to read you this quote which sums up pretty much the message of this video nothing in the world can take the place of persistence talent will not nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent genius will not Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. This, this quote, I feel like putting this on a wall. Okay, this is a very important quote because even back then it resonated with me. So many years ago when I got this book. I got this book again back in 1999. Uh, at that point, I was already working in a recording studio. I have already graduated from sound engineering uh, college, university. I had some real world experience. Uh, somebody uh, that was a sound engineer working in a studio with bands, recording. I was a musician as well at the same time. So I was doing many, many things. And, and I was uh, feeding my mind with this type of books, uh, which again, they might be a little bit old fashioned for some of you here. But this type of quotes, and, and the book has different quotes as you go into different chapters, but this one resonated with me even all the way back then to 1999 when I first got this book and I started reading it. And I have read this book multiple times. But I think that this is something that a lot of composers nowadays and musicians in general, producers, uh, are missing. At times we think that it's, it's the software, it's the plugins, it's, it's the music, it's the mixing. Everybody's obsessed with the mix. And they think that that's the main problem. You have to start from the beginning. The composition, the harmonies, the arrangement. Then eventually you get to the mix. But even before the composition, you need to know about persistence. And being consistent. Because talent alone is not going to get you there. It didn't get me here where I am today. I always teach my students and teach everybody that I'm coaching. And in my membership site as well. I always say the same thing. I am not the best seller on any library. I am not the most talented, but I am the most persistent. I show up day in and day out to do my work, work that matters to me. And hopefully you can see this with these videos as well. I show up because it matters to me. Hopefully I can uh, influence one, one life, one viewer, one musician, or hopefully I can inspire. I don't like the word influence. It has this I don't know, weird connotation. I, I feel like I'm talking about a social media influencer. Uh, but if I, if I use the word influence, I'm trying to use it in a positive way because these books have influenced my life, my way of thinking, 
for years. And I still, when I read it, I really feel so moved by it that I want to you know, communicate this with you. One of the main things for success is the ability to be persistent, to not give up. You know, when we're going to encounter problems, setbacks, rejections, the most talented people are the ones that get really hurt when they get rejected. This is by far <laughs> my experience. I was one of them, even though I don't consider myself the most talented in my head. I was back then uh, when I first got started. And as soon as I started to get rejected, it was, it was unreal to me. It, it was truly, my ego was uh, so, uh, it, it was dead. I, you know, <laughs> it was so bad. I, I couldn't deal with it. It was a humbling experience and know that, okay, so it's not about skills. It's not about talent. What is it about? And I, and I am as good as my, my latest composition, yesterday's composition. Whatever I'm working on right now as we speak is what's going to be better than yesterday. And hopefully tomorrow will be better as well than what I'm making today. So I hope this is a helpful video to you. I hope this type of videos help you, uh, inspire you to carry on if you're going through a rough uh, patch or if you want to get started in music licensing and selling your music online today in 2021. The year is almost over. If you're not selling your music on stock libraries, subscription libraries like Pond5, uh, what are you doing? You know, we need to start monetizing our music. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for all the love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart. Rock and roll and here's to your success.